Yo, what's up guys? It's Jeff from Updated and today we are checking out the awesome new improvements Apple has brought to us in the iOS 15.1 beta 3 release. Now, just instead of uh, using the release for just like an hour or two and then releasing a video on it, uh, we actually spent some time testing out the new features that were released within this update. And uh, they're actually quite extensive, especially if you own one of the new iPhone 13 Pro or Pro Max devices. So let's take a look at what's new and why this is a very important update for the pending iOS 15.1 release. Now guys, before we get started with today's beta update video, make sure to check out Provado VPN via the link down below. For this month of October, every 10th user that signs up for any one of their paid plans will receive a $300 Apple gift card. Now, Provado VPN provides the fastest VPN experience through their physical servers, unlike the competition that uses virtual servers. Provado VPN also is a no log data retention company and ensures that your browsing activity is truly private on their network. So guys, when you use Provado VPN, you get a fast VPN experience that won't include any risk of your data being stolen, sold, or uh, misplaced because they actually don't log any of it. So check out the link down in the video description below and sign up for Provado VPN, the best VPN service out there. Okay, so getting started and taking a look at the release information and the total update size for my iPhone 13 Pro Max was just over one gigabyte. And the update did take a little more, a little while. It was a little bit more extensive than uh, some of the previous updates. So it does seem like there's a lot of complex uh, things going on within this update in the background. Now, moving on to the about screen, and we do have a new build number, and that is 19B. 5060D. Now, moving farther down into that menu, and we do actually have new modem firmware, and uh, that modem firmware number is 1.15.01. So we do have new modem firmware here within beta 3. Now, the new features that are really awesome for all of you iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max uh, users come in the camera operation. So now if you go into the settings app and then you go on into the camera menu, you'll find that there are new settings located inside this menu. Now the first new setting can be found in the formats menu where you can select uh, what formats you shoot in for both photos and video. Now, for those of you who have the new iPhone 13 Pro devices, you know that Apple did announce that ProRes would be a video format you can now shoot in using those specific phones. Now, ProRes is actually placed in this third developer beta of iOS 15.1. So, when you are in the formats menu, at the very bottom, you can see the toggle for ProRes. But also below that, you can see a lot more information as to how much storage is going to be used when this format is enabled. So essentially, you have to have a device with more storage than 256 gigabytes to shoot in 4K 30 ProRes. And each minute that you shoot in that 4K 30 ProRes uh, will be six gigabytes worth of storage. Now, if you shoot at 1080p, it will be around, I believe, 1.7 gigabytes per minute, uh, but I would highly recommend 4K recording. And should you want to publish in 1080, you can always publish in that smaller format from that 4K footage that you shoot in. Okay, so we went ahead and actually tested out ProRes versus regular video shooting on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, and actually the results were so staggering. So if you take a look at what we shot here, you can see that ProRes straight out of the camera does considerably show uh, a lot of improvements in quality. And when you go to edit the footage, you actually have a lot more information to work with. So that means you can edit the video and not see hardly any drop off in quality because you have so much information when you record that video. So if you're making changes to color temperature, brightness, um, any like shadows, highlights, anything like that, you're actually going to have a lot more range uh, to work with in your post-production setting. So with all that being said, if you are looking to edit a video in post-production and really want some high quality footage that won't break down when making those changes that we we're kind of discussing, I'd highly recommend shooting in this setting because it actually is a game changer when the formats uh, that cinematographers shoot in with big studio quality cameras 
uh, can now also be shot in with uh, the iPhone users as well. Now, if we go back into the camera menu that I was talking about, uh, there are actually even more changes as well. So at the bottom, we now have a new setting that is also very specific to the iPhone 13 Pro and Pro Max devices. That setting is a toggle for auto macro, which automatically switches the ultra wide camera to capture macro photos and videos. Now, the experience I had before with macro videos and photos was that it was kind of difficult to switch in and out of that mode. There was no button or anything like that. You just had to kind of finagle um, it close enough to certain uh, objects to get the macro mode essentially to start. Now, with this toggle, your phone uh, more intelligently switches to the macro mode and makes shooting macro photos and videos a much faster experience versus before, and actually really makes it simple um, and easy to get those shots that reveal the smallest of details that is macro photography. Okay, so the last feature that Apple has worked on for the camera experience is Apple's new cinematic video shooting mode. So we've been using this mode and the experience has been, uh, I'd say decent to say the least, but Apple has worked quite a bit on the AF tracking involved in this shooting mode. So now when you select a face or object to track, your phone more intelligently tracks that selection. And to me at least, I'm having a much better and faster experience using this cinematic mode uh, with this update in regards to AF tracking. Now, when we take a look at the rest of the Beta 3 update and um, we take a look at like any other new features or anything like that, there are pretty minimal changes, but there was a new Apple Watch battery icon for when your phone notifies you of your Apple Watch charging status. And then we also have a faster app widget loading experience, uh, which to me has been greatly improved. Now, as for the widget loading experience, it seems like um, that speed can also be recognized in the app loading and multitasking experiences as well. So uh, when you go to open up any app specifically, those loading experiences will be a lot faster in my experience um, than what we saw in the iOS 15 update. And then when you go to multitask, I noticed that I can use more apps now. And even when I haven't used one in a while, I can pick up where I left off in that app experience without completely reloading that app. So with that said, it does look like Apple's device RAM management has greatly improved and that the A15 Bionic chip is working even faster through some software improvements found here in uh, beta three of iOS 15.1, specifically on the Pro and Pro Max devices. Okay, so guys, that is the iOS 15.1 beta three update and that's all of what's new and improved in this update experience. If you guys have any questions about this update or any other Apple related content, please let me know in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget about the awesome Apple gift card giveaway that's sponsored by Provado VPN by clicking in the link in the video description down below. Again, every 10th paid user for Provado VPN will get that $300 Apple gift card. Hey guys, thanks for watching today's video on the updated YouTube channel. Before you head out, make sure to get subscribed and also hit that notification bell button to stay up to date for when we publish any new content here on the channel. Also, if you want to check out some other things that we have going on, check the channel information link down below. It's solo.to slash updated. You can check out our channel memberships, our merch store, my personal Twitter account, which you should totally follow, and a link to the updated podcast where we have new episodes every single week. That podcast is called The Infinite Loop, and we talk about everything going on in the world of tech. Also, we have links to our giveaways sponsored by awesome companies like Provado VPN, so definitely check those out as well. We'll have a new one every single month. So guys, thank you again for watching today's video and we hope to see you guys in some upcoming content. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.